Hello, today we're going to be showing you about three different cameras. This is the Thor Broadcast website. Scroll down. The three cameras we're going to be talking about today is a setup guide and how to change IP addresses and beginning setup and also static IP. We're going to be setting up the Maximus Pro X, Pro Fly, and Maximus H265 Pro. This is where you're going to start. First, you're gonna go here to your internet options and go to network and internet settings. Then we're gonna to go to ethernet. We wanna make sure first that we're plugged the ethernet from our computer directly into the back of the camera. Then we go to ethernet and change adapter options. We click on ethernet here and then we go to properties. And we're gonna find Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Click on that, then click Properties. Your computer will likely already have obtained an IP address automatically, but today we're going to utilize, use the following IP address. And the IP address of the cameras are 192.168.1.162. So the first three sections have to be the same. And the last section has to be different than 162, but it can be any number between 0 and 254 that you don't already have on your network so it doesn't conflict. We're going to use 39. The subnet will automatically populate when you hit tab with the 255, 255, 255, 0. And then we can hit OK. Close that. And if you want to utilize viewing the camera uh, for live streaming, you're going to have to use Internet Explorer for that. So let's go to 192.168.1.162. And this is so we can load the web user interface. Boom. It should come up with this splash screen here. The username is admin and the password is admin. But first, if you want to view what's coming out of the camera, you're going to have to install ActiveX. To do so, you click File. Then we're going to click Run. We already have it installed here, but if you do have it already installed and it's the latest version, 1.1.9, then you can hit No and just log in. If you don't have it installed, then you're going to have to install it. Since we have it installed, we're going to have to uninstall it so we can show you guys the complete process. So we're uninstalling now. Now we're going to go through the setup guide. Click next, agree, and install. We're going to hit finish. Okay, great. Now we can log in. The Password is admin, but it's case sensitive, so make sure that it's lowercase. A D M I N. We're going to log in. Here is what we kind of just have it pointed outside of the window, but it is a live viewing of what's happening here. You can do the PTZ options, changing it up, move the angles, go around, zoom in, zoom out. You can even change the speed here in which it zooms. See, it's going slower now. And look, it's much faster there. It's set up in the middle middle speed but depending on your usage if you wanted to have a slow pane you can change that here uh, with this sliding for presets you can set it up so this is at one angle and number two is at a separate angle and to set them you just click here and then you hit set and then you click on this arrow and hit call and it will go directly to that angle next we can go to configuration you can see here there's different settings AV settings, PTZ options, and when you have the Maximus control, which is right here, 
This is our PTZ, so you can do the pan, tilt, zoom, and you can have up to seven cameras on here. It's already programmed with the IP addresses starting at 192.168.1.162 in subsequent order, each going from here. And this is 63, 64, 65, 66, and so on. Um, this is a really great option if you want it to be more fluid than we had it before when we we're just clicking around. It's much easier to use this option. You can do the white balancing and everything directly from this device, especially great if you have multiple cameras. So when you wanna set up those multiple cameras, you're gonna to have to, right now, this is the default IP and all of them have the default IP ending in 162. Um, if you wanna change that because they will conflict, the next camera will be set up with 163. And then you hit save. And you're gonna to have to log in again and with this login, you can't use 162 anymore. You have to put in 163. Boom. Login again with admin. And now we're at the IP address 163. And we just changed that on our camera. Really easy to do, so you can set up the subsequent uh, cameras with the following IP addresses and you won't have any IP conflicts. You have to make sure that the protocol on the camera matches the protocol that's on the Maximus control here. So it's really easy to do to change here and it's also easy to do on the Maximus control. Um, it's automatically uh, set up with Fisca. So you just have to use this one here, and this one is also automatically set up with that, so it's easy to use from the get-go. You can change AV options, image, you want to change brightness, saturation, all types of options here. We make it really easy for you to use. And if you have any like questions, you can always look at our website, and we have our videos here. So any kind of little options, anything you need to know, we have a bunch of different stuff up here easy to use and if you have questions you can also call us at 1-800-521-8467 extension 1 for sales and extension 2 for support we thank you so much and we hope you really love our products and we hope that this can maximize your business and maximize the potential thank you have a great day